Good evening, Syntax. Happy Valentine's Day. Recently, I went on a long trip away from Northfield, the place that I've grown to love so deeply for the past few years. I don't know how long it will take until I can go back once more, back to the familiar campus, the quaint little shops downtown, and the wonderful people that I've left behind. The days leading up to this sudden and somewhat unplanned departure. I was thinking a lot about how much I will miss this town, and how unfair life can be, pulling you out of your place just when you think you belong somewhere, not even giving you a chance to say a proper goodbye. The day before I left, I walked around all the familiar places once more, with a stinking feeling in my chest everywhere I went, remembering all the ordinary and extraordinary memories I've had, and silently screaming in my head. This might just be the one last time that I get to be here, and do this, and walk on this road, and see this friend, and open this door, and I've missed out so much, and that I have so many regrets that will now never be resolved. Syntax, you know when I get anxious, I always turn to podcasts from the Green Brothers to bring me some peace and solace. John said in the Anthropocene Revealed episode. That in his early adult years, he used to think that home is the house you no longer live. Home is before, and you live in after. I can't help but think how I'm being pushed into after by graduating college and by adulthood, unprepared, saddened by the thought that I can never return to before, and frightened about everything new that is after. Before I left, Julia gifted me a poem that goes. Small pot of ground on which you were born cannot be expected to stay forever the same. Earth changes, and home becomes different places. I wasn't sure I was ready for home to become somewhere else. When I first started college, I used to be fascinated by the idea that plane rides that fly west can eventually reach the east and bring me back to my family. Sitting on this plane from Northfield this past week, I was thinking about those old plane rides and this new one. Thinking about flying further and further away from where I called home, flying away from the family I found in Northfield, away from Julia and Maggie and the memories that I cannot return to. Suddenly, it hits me that leaving something behind is very different from losing it. Although it hurts to leave somewhere you love, it brings me comfort knowing that I never lost the family in Northfield. I never lost the hard, the silly, and the joyous college moments that made me who I am. I know, looking back to those years, I will not remember the bucket list things I did not do. I won't remember the last time I was in the building, the last time I said goodbye to a friend. But I will remember sitting at the Daisy's brunch on a sunny Sunday morning. Surrounded by people that I love so deeply, and feeling like I found home. The entirety of John's quote about home actually goes like this: Home is the house you no longer live. Home is before, and you live in after. Home is also what you are building and maintaining today. I might not feel ready, but I am excited to build memories. And relationships in another place that I can call home someday. Welcome, welcome to your place. Welcome, welcome to your space. May your spirit be at peace. May your heart be at peace. Welcome, welcome. To your place, welcome, welcome to your space. May your spirit be at peace. May your heart be at peace. Welcome, welcome to your place. Welcome, welcome to your space. May your spirit. 
Be at peace, may your heart be at peace. Welcome, welcome to your new home. Welcome, welcome to Montreal. Welcome, welcome to your new adventures. Welcome, welcome, welcome.